Hi everyone. This video is going to be about the WordPress Alchemy Media Access class, which I'm currently developing. So it's still in development stages, um, pretty early development, but it functions pretty well. So I wanted to put it out there and get your feedback uh, if you have the opportunity to use it. First off, let me show you how it actually works. Everyone's familiar, I assume everyone's familiar with these little buttons up here uh, and how they work and how they function. So clicking that brings up the WordPress media uploader uh, dialog. And you've got four different tabs. You can upload an image, you can ultimately uh, insert a URL, or you can um, access your, your gallery or your media library. So clicking uh, the image, you can click the insert into post button. And as expected, it posts or it inserts the image into your post. So the class helps you integrate custom fields in your MetaBox with the uh, media uploader dialog. So if I click my button here, it will launch the media uploader and as first thing you should note is that it launches and it actually starts in uh, the media library um, tab by default um, but that's definable in the class and you can change that when I click show for one of the images you'll also should take note on um, the label of the button here that's uh, configurable in this particular case, I think uh, by default I have it set to just uh, say insert. If I click insert, it automatically uh, populates the field um, that I've defined here uh, with uh, the path or the uh, the URL to the image. Uh, in this second uh, field that I've got defined here, I've changed the button label to something different. Uh, when I click that, uh, you'll notice it starts up in the gallery tab, and again, you can define that. Um, and in this particular case, when I look at one of the images, I've got the button label um, saying insert this versus insert or versus insert into post. So in this case, um, and, and again, it functions on any one of these uh, tabs. I'm going to go to from computer, I'm going to select file, I'm going to pick uh, this picture again for the uh, <laughs> fifth time and um, as you can see it gets uploaded um, my button is there my button label is correct when I click insert this the path gets inserted into into the field so uh, implementations pretty easy so let me show you how that uh, that works so first off you have to include the media access class and then you also have to define uh, a you know a media access object in this case um, WP alchemy underscore media underscore access is the variable I'm using to um, instantiate uh, the object and I'm using the metabox class uh, to set up the, the contents of my metabox so this is the definition for the meta box. There are two fields defined here um, and I'll take you from top to bottom. So first off I use global on the uh, uh, variable for the object. I have to do this so I actually ha uh, can gain access to that object and use some of its uh, methods. So the first field, the first method I'm using is get uh, group name and what that does is define a common name for the field and the button. Um, that helps uh, the JavaScript uh, when you press the button uh, associate the field when ultimately the value, uh, the URL value gets returned and it inserts it and so forth. So it creates a common name and helps pair the two. There's another function called uh, insert button label and that's the uh, label of the insert button in the media uploader box. So by default, uh, I don't even think I needed to define this here, by default um, the label is set to insert 
Um, but if you wanted to change it, you can change it here using this particular function. So you, you set up your, your, your options initially, and then you go on to define uh, the field um, by default. Not by default, um, but required, you need to uh, set up the name and value uh, attributes of the input uh, HTML element, which gets uh, produced. Um, in this case, I'm using the meta box, so I'm going to have it auto generate my name and auto generate uh, my value. And here, I'm outputting my my button by uh, using the get button class, um, method. Uh, this second example here does pretty much the same thing: uh, set group name, set insert button label, and this particular label is actually different. Um, but it also goes on to set the uh, tab. Um, in this particular case, uh, using the gallery tab. Uh, by default, it will actually, since I don't have it set on the first one here, by default it goes into the uh, the library uh, the library uh, uh, tab. But I think I'm going to actually change that um, uh, to start off at the very first tab. And the way you can actually see what the tab names are, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to launch this. Uh, if you look at the browser status bar down below here, uh, if you hover over, you'll see it says uh, tab equals type, tab equals type URL, and tab equals gallery and, and library. So that'll give you all the names that you can actually use with that uh, particular method of the class. And again here, um, name, value uh, are being set. And for my button this time, I'm actually changing the label to, um, to something different. So add image from library. So again, as the class stands now, Everything is pretty um, uh, functions as as I've described, but I think certain things are going to change. Um, it's still in its uh, alpha version, meaning I'm probably going to change my mind about a few things just to make it a little bit more um, elegant um, and uh, you know give more power to you as the developer.